back at a new video. I hope you guys can hear me through this mic. Okay, so welcome to another vlog. In today's video, I am planning to record a new YouTube video. Uh, today, I decided to just dedicate it to uh, editing some YouTube videos and recording some new YouTube videos, scripting, and for TikTok editing because um, I noticed myself trying to do a lot of stuff in different times so maybe it's better for me to try doing like designated days so Monday is normally the day that I wanted to use for my YouTube editing and uh, I think that I will also just add my TikTok stuff to that because it's just easier if you can just continue batching the same kind of work instead of doing different things in different days so that's what I'm gonna try this week I'm gonna try the method out and hopefully it works better. So today's video is basically a video about me just talking about the goals that I set for myself for the year and to see, because we're already in June, to see I've already kept like track with it and if I'm actually making the right steps towards it and if I need to adjust stuff. So that's what I'm gonna record right now. That lens is so big, damn. Anyways, we finished recording the new video. Um, I was supposed to use my microphone, but guess what? I didn't click record, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna eat some breakfast. I'm going to head up, edit this video, uh, get it ready for this week, and then um, we're going to script a new YouTube video for my studio hard design, the process video, progress video, and then I'm going to edit my TikToks. Yes, that's the plan. But first, breakfast. Honestly guys, this DJI mic has been a game changer and it's actually, I use it way less. I should use it more, but it's actually really good. It's a good investment, so if you're looking for a content creation and you need a complete kit, a good camera and a good microphone will get you going. Really a good investment, honestly. I did invest a lot in my camera gear this year, to be honest, and the casing is really nice. And the inside addictive for me for some reason I really like it but honestly I've really invested a lot in my car my stuff and I honestly think that that's one thing that I changed this year is literally just upgrading my camera stuff like I think this year I only I invested in new lens I invested in lens filters uh, I invested in new tripod I invested in a good microphone and since then I have been just very consistent because I spend money to get these things I'm like if I don't use them I'm basically not getting the worth out of the money I spent so uh, I'm happy that I did invest in like in a better lens because I can see that with Design Diaries episodes that I can get like different shots, different angles and I'm trying to just do a bit more better of a storytelling or can you call what I do cinematic videos? Not really. I just cozy vlogs in a way. But getting a better lens that is just higher with my f-stop and what am I saying? What am I yapping? I got a better lens and that's what helped me with improving my video. So when people tell you that you don't need certain gear for YouTube video, I'm like, is that honestly true? Because I used to run with a 50 millimeter lens, 24 to 50 millimeter, my kit lens from Sony, and it was good, but like the, in low light, it just performed very bad. And I think that with content creation, you just need to, I guess it just depends on what kind of content you create. Sometimes you need gear, you need the gear to create better stuff. So when people tell you you don't need certain, you don't need gear, you can just get started, which is true. But at some time you need to get and invest in better stuff so you can take it more seriously, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm just yapping. Okay, you 
can see where I'm sitting. I'm in my room as usual and it's time for me to edit the video I just recorded. So I'm gonna do that, spend time. I think it's about 10 o'clock right now. I think that because it's not really a design diet episode, I'm gonna be pretty done fast and I think that by 12 o'clock I should be done with my YouTube video completely. So I'm gonna grind and continue doing that and I might have to go get some stuff because I'm the one cooking dinner today and I think I'm gonna make something with potatoes or something like dried potato, no, crunchy potatoes. We'll see what I can find. But uh, yeah, let's edit the video right now. I'm pretty happy with the lot. It has been also with that. Let me just tell you guys a big backstory. Big back, but look at this. The lot you guys see me use in my videos and everything. I It took time. I If you saw my old vlogs and you see the sort of way I recorded, you can see that it was way too dark. The exposure was ass. Everything was just wrong. But now that I have mastered color grading in a way I guess it's not perfect but uh, it's better than what I had before and I'm really happy with the lot I created because I really want to have my own custom look in my videos and I finally have it yes yeah that's just one something I want to share let me edit um, I just finished editing my YouTube video it took me a bit longer than two hours two hours 30 minutes to be exact but that's because I got distracted by a new game I've been playing and it's actually a game I got as an ad during playing when my sister was playing Stumble Guys, I joined and then I saw this ad and it's it's a very dumb game but it is it's actually fun. It the name is Rent Please Land Landlord Sim Simulator. Yeah. So I've been playing that. It's just it's just a click game that you have to play with. Yeah, it's just a click game, look. Okay now. And you can just basically just apartments you rent out to people and everything and you can upgrade stuff i don't know it's very it doesn't make sense how i'm addicted to this game at this point but um i have been uh, yeah i because of that i was a bit the editing took a bit longer so now i am working on a script for my youtube video and that's a video about studio hard science it's going to be an update video and in that video i'm basically just gonna tackle my foundation of studio hard science how i've achieved those and how i've worked on the stuff that i need to finish when I'm talking, this video has it, the video is not going to be released. It's going to release after this one. So, um, basically, it's just a video about me uh, showcasing the progress of Studio Hard Science and showcasing what I'm doing to establish the foundation and the first steps of. Um, the, let me just say, it, let's setting the foundation right as a business before uh, moving on. So that's what I'm doing, and uh, scripting so far is going pretty well. So I'm doing that, and then I have then if I have finished that. Then, yeah, then I'm pretty much done with the first section of my day, and that is editing my YouTube video, uploading it, and finalizing it. Uh, recording a new YouTube video, which I'm doing. I've recorded two, three in a way. And then um, uh, scripting this video out, because if I have that, then I have for the next three weeks enough videos. So I'm trying to schedule ahead of time and make sure that I can keep posting consistently. And I still have to create a London. Uh, cinematic video postcard so that's also something that can come out so there is enough content enough ideas that I have I want to create a notion video I want to create um, um, kind of in a fashion cinematic video I'm, I will post that on my normal channel not as a short then I also want to post uh, the cinematic video of London I just want to post my uh, the studio hard science progress video so there are enough video ideas coming and uh, I'm working on those so scripting it all out in my database notion I'm gonna continue scripting my video then I'm aiming that by one o'clock I should be done with a rough sketch I can put my video out and everything and then start with my TikTok videos and then uh, prepare something that I need to eat for lunch and I also need to remember that I have to go shopping probably for dinner that I have to cook because I'm cooking today I need to cook there's no no excuse I'm cooking today so uh, enough yapping let's go
was so chaotic at the beginning. Well, I just finished editing the blooper reel of the video I recorded on Saturday, and it's actually really funny because I thought that <laughs> the vlog would consist of me making typos and just saying wrong things, but it more consists of me complaining that there are dogs at the park, so it's pretty funny. But um, I have finished now editing like my YouTube video, I have recorded the YouTube video, I have scripted the YouTube video, I have edited the new TikTok. Two, no, actually one, wrote a description for that, will write a description for this one. So I'm pretty productive, honestly. And I think that I still need to finalize one script and then I'm going to my, then I'm going to eat uh, lunch. And then I need to check what we're going to eat for uh, dinner. I think that's a good plan. Well, I'm so happy with like how my shadow is. Like, look at this. This looks great. It looks like I've been touching grass. <laughs> Whereas I've been stuck in the house. No, I'm joking. But this, I love the feed. It looks good. This was my previous feed. You can see winter, more inside, cozy and stuff. And now the summer stuff is really just outside, me touching grass, more greenery. I like it. I'm here for it. You know what the best feeling is of creating to-do lists? It's crossing off things off the list. It's the best feeling ever. So if you want to be feel accountable when you've done your goals and thought the stuff you planned, make a to-do list and cross it off. Best feeling ever, really. Because I can just tick things off right now. Like, I did it. I actually did it. Edit YouTube video. Check. Plan and script a new YouTube video. Check. Edit blooper TikTok. We only did one. Tree was very ambitious. Check. Script of my company for that. Uh, I'm still supposed to do that. Maybe I'll do that later. But first, a break. Web design and have edit. Yeah, yeah.
guys a good update. Today is actually a full circle moment where I have actually my whole portfolio website is almost completely done. All the main pages have been filled, uh, everything, the reviews, everything I've added it. So it's basically almost done. So the next step that I need to only do is like fill in my case pages. And I'm probably gonna dedicate my next week, yeah, next week towards that by filling all the cases, putting it down so that by next week 14th, the whole website will be done and I'll be able to launch it before the end of June. And then we can finally work on other stuff. So I'm very happy with the work I did in the past month, especially past few weeks. I've been so focused on my website and trying to, what are they doing? I don't know what my mom and my sister are doing, but I've worked my ass off seriously like every month, every evening working on it, making sure I make enough time for it. And you can see hard work pays off. The website is almost done. So I'm actually really happy with that. I just came back from work. I closed pretty early. I'm actually really tired. And in my throat, I can feel like the cold coming in. So I'm gonna take a nap, just chill out and relax and uh, enjoy my weekend and go out to record because we need to record one TikTok, I think. I went to the TikTok yesterday night and I'm just gonna rest because I'm really tired and I can feel the cold just coming in my throat. Ugh. It's the weather because tell me why we have sun now and last week it was only rain. This is just Dutch weather acting up. A lovely sister made noodles for me because I'm actually not feeling well. Thank you very much, Anna. You're Since the last time I recorded, I got really sick. <laughs> I uh, vomit, like puked the next day. Uh, basically slept throughout Saturday. My body was just broken. I had a lot of stomach aches. And then Sunday I felt a bit better, but still not the best. I could barely eat. And today is Monday. I still feel like ass, literally. Even recording this, I have no idea what to say, but my mind is just blank, <laughs> honestly. Um, so I or I slept pretty late yesterday because I couldn't sleep, like 3.30 a.m. And I woke up at 6.30. Then I slept again till like 11. So I slept in total like six hours. So now I took a shower and I'm about to eat and take my meds. My meds. I don't know, I have this toxic habit, I think that's just me, that when I'm sick like this, I feel, I don't know, not, yeah, guilt, guilty or something that I'm not working on the stuff that I set out for myself. But I also need to remind myself my own words that I said that life is not a race, it's a marathon. So, um, so I look like, I look like trash. So uh, that's what I've just tried, been trying to force myself to remember. So that's why I've not done any work ever since. As for today, I'm really just gonna relax and chill, um, and recover. The last time I was sick like this was the beginning of the year. Ironic that it's like the sixth now and the sixth of the month. It's like I got sick like this again. Not too bad, but still. Everything was going so great. I was exercising eating my fruit, uh, being active on a daily basis, working my portfolio side, and then this happened. But it's okay, it's all part of life, right? Mm -hmm. 